Right folks, uh, this is a review from a P.O. box I had from, as you've already read from the title of this video, uh, Cherry Tree Preserves. There it is, right? Uh, they wrote us a little note. June is going to read the note. June, action. Hi Blue Van Man, we saw your review and our mates at Croom's Cuisine. I thought you needed some chutney with your cheese. Hope you like it. Kind regards, Lauren and Claire. Spread Lauren and Claire. Thank you. Who? Spread who? Spread the love. Spread the love. Not the legs, the love. <laughs> do you know what, right? I do these reviews and June's going, keep it clean, don't say anything risque, don't do that. And then she hugs it on about spreading legs. Unbelievable. Right. So these people have kindly, this is, this is from um, a bloke called Oliver Pengilly. Uh, I reviewed some of his drawings. They were excellent, really good. Calendars, he does uh, weddings and stuff like that. And uh, Ginger's got the pictures on a wall. Well, she's got some of them. She ain't got all of them. She, you know, she, we just put her in the box room, really. She, in the back of the house, out of the way where, you know... Uh, she's just out of the way. So what we've got, folks, they've sent me three... Jars, that's two, I know it's two. Three jars, right? I've not got my glasses on, I took them off for some stupid reason. And they also sent us some, uh, what are they, June? Uh, red pepper and chili cracker bites. They're here on a plate, right? Waiting. Uh, it's just time saving. And the uh, red chili peppers, these ingredients is, uh, Wheat flour, wheat, ca uh, calcium carbonate, uh, words I cannot read, it'll say chili, chili jam, tomato powder, salt, paprika, uh, chili flakes, black pepper. You're like that, Jim, because you're a bit of a pepper bully, aren't you? Yeah. You put pepper in everything. Mm. I had a crest sandwich the other day, there were pepper in it. And uh, yeah, so here we go. I don't know how much any of this is. So, well, I've got the three jars. I've got a spicy tomato and caramelised onion chutney, uh, a butternut squash and a bramley chutney, and we've got a spicy, uh, no, we haven't. We've got a sweet and spicy garlic with nigella seeds. What, Nigella Lawson? I doubt it. You doubt it, and that's a pickle. Not a chutney. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we'll start off with the uh, butternut, butternut, <laughs> but, butternut squash. Um, I think these kind of things are excellent. I mean, I suppose they're all right all year round. But I personally find uh, something like this is nice on a cold winter's night, on a November or a Christmas time. And um, it'd be nice to put in a hamper if you put in a hamper together for somebody. I'm a big fan of these hampers, I, I, as I've said in the past. Hampers are brilliant. So yeah, these um, are really good. And uh, where are these based, uh, June? Do we know? Um, it doesn't say, but they're on Facebook.com. Cherry Trees Preserves. Yeah. Uh, www.cherrytreepreserves.co.uk and Twitter is at CT Preserves. Yeah, so just type in the cherry tree, uh, quality preserves, the cherry tree, and you'll find them there. Uh, right, so this is a 300 gram jar. I will be honest now, I am not a fan of butternut squash, but June is Ginge. Yeah, she will be. They, they both like butternut squash, so you'll have to ignore my uh, opinion on this because... You didn't uh, finish the story about Oliver Pengella. Oh, he, Oliver Pengella. He Pen went to... He went... Where did we he go? tried the cheese from the vineyard at Wolverhampton. Yes. And... He ordered some of the cheese on their website and yeah. mentioned that you had reviewed it and yes. recommended it, and that's where they got. That's where from. they've got. That's where they found me from. Uh, so cheers for that, Oliver. I like this. This is what I like. Oh, I love that. I it's love like popping the coffee. It is. It's like putting your finger in your coffee. Oh, that's spicy. Ginger. Oh, look at that. That's good. Look. Spread the love in the lid. Says, spread the love. Even to Chris C, spread the love. Right, um, so I'll do a bit of this. Now, this has got in it. Uh, I love creating recipes that combine a sense of tradition with new inspirational ideas. I always ensure that every single batch tastes fantastic. 
This is so delightfully refreshing and strong and traditional cheddar cheese. Uh, we have got a cheddar cheese there. Um, it's got but spicy butternut squash, brambly apple chutney, mustard seeds and all that kind of stuff. You can, that, what? There you go. For the visually impaired, I'm holding it up. It's yellow and it's got little mustard seeds in. Uh, Lumps of uh, butternut it squash. It looks a lot like piccalilli, but it's it not. It does look like piccalilli, but it's not. The smooth piccalilli. So, put a bit on a biscuit. Is that too much, June? I don't know till I've tried it, do I? Oh. Well, I think it might be. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll have this one, and you can do your bloody own. Can I have some cheese on mine? Yeah, I'm going to put some cheese on mine, and all. Well, you do it weird. Yeah, I have. I've done it weird. I've done it upside down, and I. Right. Yeah. I'm going to shove it all in my mouth because what's going to happen is I'm going to break it and I'm going to look like an idiot or a bigger idiot than I already am. So. Oh yeah, that's nice. That is really good. It's got a sweet spicy to it. You can taste the apple. I can't really taste the butternut squash. That's almost got an Indian taste. It has got a very Indian kind of taste. Is it like a Do you know the pilau rice? It's a bit. Yeah. It's got that sort of taste in it. So there's obviously something that they put in the pilau rice. It's almost as if they've used the butternut squash just to give it body. I can't really taste. Hmm. I love it when you bite a mustard seed. Very nice. Ginger. There is ginger in it. Mm -hmm. Bit like our house. <laughs> mm. Very nice. That is very good. I won't. I was. Do you know what? I'm, uh, what's the, what are the names? The cherry tree. No, you don't. On the bloody card. <laughs> Lauren and Claire. Lauren and Claire. That's I was. James. I was. Um. In my mind, I weren't going to like it because I don't like the butternut squash, but I do actually like it because I can't really taste the butternut it's just, squash. It's, it's just there to give it, it's like a soup, in it, when you put a potato in a soup to give it body. Thickness, yeah. Yeah, and thickness, that's like me, innit? Mm -hmm. They added meat to the family to add thickness. Right, moving on. Which one are we going for now, June? This you can, you can choose. You can either have spicy tomato and caramelised onion chutney, or you can have uh, Nigella's seeds with a sweet and spicy garlic pickle. Mm, Nigella's seeds. She's going for Nigella's seeds. Who are Nigella's seeds? Sounds like a pop group from Manchester. Here we go. Oh, I love that. Oh, bloody hell. With that, now that tastes of that smells of taste of Indian. Smells of Indian. Oh blimey, that's nice. June is reading the label, people. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm... That smells. <laughs> well, it's also known as black onion seed, Nigella seeds. Is it? Mhm. Mm right. So let's. Uh, well, I'll put a bit of cheese on, I'll do it properly this time. So I'll put the cheese on the biscuit. Fennel flour seeds. Oh, so right. I wonder if it's going to taste a bit aniseeder. Yeah. The research team is earning the money today. Are you doing yours, uh, lover? Yeah, doing your one. Now, what I'm doing, folks, with this, um, during the winter months, me and June, uh, and the ginger one, if the ginger one can be prepared to come downstairs and offer iPhone uh, or whatever. Um, a MacBook now. A MacBook now. Um, we have pickles and stuff, don't we? We yeah. sit there, we get a big bowl or a big a big plate. I mean, uh, one of us will put uh, what's that cheese with the blue veins in it? Stilton. Uh, Stilton on a biscuit, and we'll have like the pickled onions and all that kind of stuff, and we love this. And we have a beer. So during this, I am in the moment, in my mind, at the beginning of December. June's tucked into the first one. And what do you think, June? I really like it, but I'm trying to 
pick out the flavour. Yeah, you do. And since I've been doing this YouTube in lock, I eat something and I do actually try to find the full flavours of what I'm eating. What do you think, Ginge? You can't just have something and then naff off. I like the other one better. You like the other one better? You can really taste the garlic in this one. You can smell the garlic in this one. Yeah. Now for the person that matters. If you don't like garlic, then this one is not for you. But... Mm. Oh yeah. You really get mm. the, the garlic, but it's it's nice. It's, it's not... Yeah. Not your socks off garlic, it's just there. It's there. But if you don't like garlic, then don't have that one. No. Very nice. Mmm. And I'm getting the fennel. Yeah. You're getting that. It's a nice warm. Yeah. Sensation on your top, isn't mm. it? That is another one. They're all going to be nice, aren't they? Let they are. Be yeah, they are yeah. going to be nice. Yeah. Um, and people are saying, they'll probably like, you know, there's some people out there with the initials of CC will probably be saying, oh, you're just saying it's nice because it's been sent to me. It's been sent to me. And that is not true. Because I'm recording this. But we do like pickles and cheese. Yeah, I love pickles. We anyway, love Anyway, so we, it um, was unlikely we were going to dislike yeah. it. It's a bit better than the Branston. <laughs> a bit better than the Branston. Because I actually, um, when the wife's mother was alive, she used to do all our pickles, didn't she? Mm. I used to buy the onions and she'd all chop them up and do all that. Because like, Skinner. women in the uh, women in the late 70s and 80s, they've got no tear ducts left in their eyes, so they don't cry when they're peeling onions. So we used to take them round to Lil and she used to... Uh, skin them. Skin them. Skin, skin them. Well, she did. And I do make my own chutney uh, and uh, piccalilli and stuff, didn't I, in the, uh, in the past. So, uh, you know, there you go. Right, Ginge, you can choose the last one. Uh, we've got <laughs> spicy tomato and caramelised onion. That would be it then. Oh, I can't really choose. You can't really choose. <laughs> so, here we go, folks. This is the last one. Oh, I love a bit of that. That is brilliant. I love that little touch inside where they've got spread the love. You've broke your biscuit. Oh, that's not over at all. Here's another biscuit then. Oh, no, it's all right. Well, it's not one, not. Mmm. That's... Get on with your biscuit. I'll get on. Give me another one, then. I'll give me one that you've not broke. All right, thank you very much. All right, there's my cheese. There's that. And the biscuits are very nice, The biscuits they? are they're, nice. They're, they're the sweet, savoury biscuits, and yeah. I think that they go well with a lot of the cheddars. To, to be fair, the, the girls that have done this and their staff have actually sat down and thought about... They're not dissimilar, different in texture, I suppose. I They're the not same. dissimilar to no. having... You know how you have a digestive in those cheese selection... Yeah. Cheese biscuit selection boxes in the digestive. I always go for the digestive because that's my favourite, and that that's similar sort of... Taste. See that I'm nodding like a politician interviewee. Or interviewer. What do we think? What do we think, Ginge? Oh, this is the best mum. Ginge oh, likes that one. I was just going to say the same. This is the best. Out of all of them. That's my favourite. Again, this... There's a taste of India to it. Mm. That's a bit perfumey for me. But I like it. That's probably more of mine and Ginge like it, isn't it? Mm. That is, in mm. fact, passes another biscuit. Thank you very much, my love. Do you want another one? No, I'm fine. I'll eat, I'll eat um, some later. Mm. This, yeah, you're right. It's nice, it's rich. Look at them big. Oh, all over the way. Look at the lumps in that. That'd be nice with a few chips. The names Laura and what? Well, I think it says Lauren and Claire. Lauren and Claire. Ginge thinks it says Lauren and Dave. I think that says Claire. Yeah, I think it's Claire as well. You'll have to excuse our daughter. Um, these are nice, handmade in small batches. That's a good because they can keep their eye on what's happening. But these, I mean, just look at that. Doesn't that look very perfect? The sub chutneys you have are just vinegar. 
are they? And none of the vegetables are too chunky. No, but there are a chunk there. There's yeah, a bit of a lump. It's a, it's a finer. Yeah. That is wonderful. Mm. Yeah, that last one. That last one is the best. Yeah, the last one. That one's the best. Yeah. First place. That gets the gold star for me. What are you going for? I'm going for that one in second place. Yeah, uh, the wife. But if you don't like garlic, you're not going to like that. The wife's gone for that. And this is the big surprise because I'm not a fan of peanut butter. This is uh, the shocker. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of um, butternut squash, but I'm putting that one in second place for me. Well, that's a close third. They're all really very nice. Down to individual taste. Yeah, it is an individual taste. Um, but they've, they've sat down, they've thought about it. The packaging's lovely. The packaging reminds me of some kind of... Um, when I used to go down to my Granny Dora's, at um, Clawton, near Colville, Gelsmore. There might be people around here watching this. Clawton, Gelsmore. They used to have the place next to the cricket ground and the bowling field, uh, the bowling green. Uh, and they used to go down to my granny's, and my granny used to do all this kind of stuff. Obviously, my granny was during the war, uh, and my granddad Sid and all that. And she used to use these kind of jars. Uh, you'd see them in the kitchen, and I don't know if. Uh, you know, but it is that kind of 1950s, 60s kind of jar that uh, that she used for many years. So we're probably older than that. Then. Well, they probably are older than that. But this is nice, and it makes it look like a traditional chutney. So um, I'm going to wind this up, folks. I've praised them enough now. I've had no payment from this. They've sent me this in the PO box. I'm pleased to help them out. Uh, help help local businesses out. It's it's a great thing to do. Like I say, be cracking in a hamper. Yeah, they would hamper. be good in a hamper. If um, where did you see this? Uh, Hapney Hapney Vineyard. Hapney Vineyards near Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton. Uh, if you are around that way, go and have a look at it. It, it was a nice little vineyard. Right. We're going to go we, back we in. We intend to go back. Yeah. We're going to go back and have a look. And um, hopefully, thank we were you. Time restraints, weren't we? Yeah, we were. <laughs> What are you coughing for? Has he gone down the wrong hole? Doodles, still waiting for his sock to come back up. Um, and people who are concerned about the dog, uh, yeah, we know all about it. He's done it a couple of times and he keeps it inside him and throws it up. But uh, he must have a digestive system like He's 12 a, years old now. He's 12 years old. All his life. He's done it most of his life. And uh, it, we just took a eye off the ball or the, the eye off the sock. So thank you to Oliver for telling these people about me and giving me the chance to review this. Uh, thank you girls as well, or Dave if your name's Dave. I don't know, my daughter's an idiot. Uh, but uh, very, very good. Cheers. I've got to turn it off. Laters.